you may want to make sure that your table looks great, right? Of course, family's coming into town. Well, Laura Train is here with me today. She's a contributor to the Atlanta Area Moms blog. She's in studio to give us some tips on putting together that perfect holiday table. And you have a lot of stuff here. Stuff, you know, it looks like it collects around the house, right? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of the stuff I've just kind of found around the house and in the craft closet. So tell me what we have and what we can do, simply. Yes, absolutely. So um, one thing, year after year after year, I always made ornaments growing up that still hang on our Christmas tree today. So obviously, ornament making with kids is a great thing to do this time of year for the holiday season. Um, you know, you go to all these parties, you're having people to your house, the adults have a great table spread with all sorts of food, with all sorts of fun drinks, why not give the kids something fun so we have something fun for them to sip out of or something them to eat out of. And then um, also, you know, everybody likes a good kind of family competition and so we have some games that you can play uh, while you have people over. I want to talk about the ornaments uh, first. Yes. What what would you suggest? I mean, you have a nice bowl full of colorful ornaments here, but are you talking about displaying it that way or actually getting these clear ornaments that you can decorate? Any, any and all of the above. Um, so I'll show you one that I actually did oh. last night, and it took just a few minutes. My little girl, I have a four-year-old. We um, did some of these together, and you can actually purchase them just at your, your local craft so store. I'll hold this up. Yeah, so we, you can hold that up for everybody. See if we can get a picture of that and, um, close enough. Yeah, and I just took a paint pen, I drew a little snowman on it, and I added some glitter to it and a ribbon and the year, and it was perfect. So then you take those, and you can either put them in a bowl for the kids to see. You can hang them on the Christmas tree. Um, you can put them at their place kind of holders mm -hmm. and um, really just jazz up your holiday table a little bit. It's cute. You got the glitter in there. That's what I was trying to show but you did the snowman yeah. on there as well in 2014 yeah. yes. and it took you what 10 or 15 minutes oh not even that not i mean that? Really maybe rough. three minutes just with a little paint it might take me a little bit longer uh, <laughs> just a little bit of practice you'll be good okay okay so what else do we have here i see what looked like some reindeer yes Okay. Well, let me step over here. Sure. And um, basically, what I did for this next one is I took a mason jar and I got some pom poms and some googly eyes. All kids love googly eyes. And I used some glue and I used um, just some pipe cleaners and I glued on the googly eyes and the and the nose and I put the pipe cleaners on top. I actually unscrewed the top and I just screwed them back in. Um, and that was it. Yeah, pop a straw in, and, you know, like I said, the adults kind of have all their fun things. And so um, sparkling fruit to is a great option for the kids, zero calories, non-caffeinated, and they have a bunch of different flavors that you can you can serve to them while we have our fun beverages. It's, it's a great idea. It's so simple and very cute and creative. Yes, yes. Uh, I like that. And uh, what else do you have over there? So, and then kind of keeping in line with the whole reindeer mm -hmm. motif, the whole reindeer idea, um, so you can serve them their little snacks in that we have some goldfish and some Indians. And nice. So same thing. Thing, I just cut a little hole in the side for the antlers. I put the um, pipe cleaners through and I just twisted them on my finger, um, glued the pom-pom and the googly eyes on and then filled them with snacks and your kids have a fun drink and um, a fun, fun it's little like a, snack snack out of it. Just a little snack cup and, you yes. and the antlers and the and, and again, something very simple to do that even, you know, children of all ages might be able to Absolutely. Do. And if they can't make it, they can eat out of it, and it's perfect. Right. And in the <laughs> sense of accomplishment, they're going to feel so excited when they get through, right? Yeah, that's right. And that's right. Ones, and something like that would make them feel, you know, real proud that they were yeah. able to make that. Yes, absolutely. Good. And what else? Um, I see some cookies over on the other side. Yeah. So next we have a little holiday tic-tac-toe. And, um... Here. Yes, I don't know if your family is competitive, but mine is. I should, I sure do like a good kind of competition. Um, but I basically, you can take your, I, I use sugar cookies, and you can roll out your favorite sugar cookie oh, no. dough. Roughly. That's right. You don't, you don't my tic tac toe. I was, <laughs> I was trying to show our uh, viewers. Uh, the sense of this tic-tac-toe board, and I think I just lost the game. That's okay. That's okay. Oh um, so, but you just kind of make your cookies, Cute. and you roll them out, and you cut them into squares, and then you can cut X's or O's, or in this case, I just cut some little squares, <laughs> and I put peppermints on, and I put um, green sprinkles on, and then okay. those became our game board and our little pieces. And um, one thing I do recommend is making an extra batch of cookies because you don't want to eat the game board. Or the ones that all of your little kids have now shared and touched. You can sort of see it from there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was able to salvage it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, what is this right here? Now, lastly, we were actually gifted this the other day, and this is a pretty great gift. Um, 
personalization is, uh, is a huge trend and on trend anyway. Um, my kids love stamps. We have paper bags that we pick up from the grocery store all the time. So why not take a paper bag, turn it inside out, get some stamps, and let them go to town stamping. Then you take that and you can use it to wrap your ornaments. So um, now you've kind of reused and recycled, which is great for the environment. Um, the kids have had a hand in, in kind of creating and um, making their own wrapping paper. And then it's a, it's a fun gift to give and the, the person, the recipient opening it. Um, is and odds at the handiwork of your kids. And, well. and where do you find something like this? You know, um, well, I mean, a lot of these things I have laying around the house. Okay. Um, stamps and, like I said, the, the paper bags and all. Um, this, I think, actually, they have it at Target, um, Walmart, some of your big kind of just normal stores carry it, carry it all. That's great. And so anything unique with the drinks that you have here, or is that just to demonstrate what you can put in the That's, mason yeah, jars? Yeah, um, it's just something okay. fun for the kids. Um, and like I said, um, you know, no caffeine, no sugar, different flavors, sparkling water. Um, and so it's just a great option. That's for, great. This for, is great. Yeah. And so um, this can really jazz up the holiday table, make it fun, create some traditions, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. 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 Yeah. I presume you do all of this every year, right? Well, I don't know about every year, but I do have a four-year-old, and I have a two-year-old, and a little baby. And so um, as my kids get a little bit older, they love to be hands-on. They love to be engaged. They love to participate. And so um, these are really just easy things that I can kind of set them at a table. I can give them the stuff. I can let them do it. And then I can get back to cooking or cleaning um, or kind of whatever else, hanging out with my friends, you know, enjoying the festivities as well. I think I have the exact same setup, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a baby. How old's your baby? Nine months. Okay, a little bit older than mine. I'll send my weeks. kids to your house. How about that? <laughs> I'll take a day off. <laughs> All right, there we go. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank Lauren. you. Awesome stuff. Thank great you. ideas. Hey, stay with us. We'll be back right after this to wrap up this great holiday show. The Big Bang Theory, weeknights at